Alright, so in this video we are going to take a look at how to find an article on popular culture. Uh, and by article I mean academic article, a article that's been peer-reviewed that is considered research and not necessarily just journalistic uh, or reporting or uh, editorial. So first thing you should do is go into the course and you're going to go to the article analysis uh, guidelines. Once you're there and you click on it, it brings you to the article analysis guidelines and the information you really want to find is in this area called finding an academic article. Uh, goes over a little bit of what it is tells you you know go to your library's databases and then you have several uh, options that I highlight now there's other databases and you can take a look at these but uh, the ones I've listed are kind of the the big ones so once you're in here what you'll want to do is click on one of these links and when you do it brings you to the login page so you'll need your username your password you need to work with the library or, or register your your id uh, and your account with the library in order to access that and then once you do you're at one of these so i'm going to give a good example of uh take a look at something called diy and notice it already starts to give me some options so i'm going to do diy or do it yourself and just to save me some time i'm gonna well it already starts to search but i'm gonna come in here on the left and actually do some editing uh, so remember you want scholarly that is peer-reviewed journals so i'm gonna check that box and that's gonna limit right it brought me down to uh, 1045 but then i'm also going to move it up to well i was gonna move it to 1970 but it's already there uh, then in here i also want to take a look under source types and i only want academic articles so I don't or academic journals I didn't want any of those other items you know I don't want magazines I don't want um, book reviews or anything like that so I can keep going here I might just double check and make sure English is the default language for the article if that's my language of choosing um, so I've really started to kind of make some in grounds to exactly where you know I'm down to 880 that's still a lot but you know it, it's a lot less and it gives me some areas to look now I can go a little bit further and start to go to say subject and here I might have some really good options to limit so I might be interested in the social aspects I'm particularly interested in the United States uh, because this is a course on popular culture uh, and then I will scroll down a little bit more I can look at attitudes that might be something Thing that kind of fits within studying popular culture uh, history and criticism may also as well so again you kind of can look through and see what are the different uh, choices or options or ideas that might be around this concept of DIY and then there's obviously a bunch of authors and uh, other things and I'm gonna do update I think there's more but it isn't showing me right now so now that's brought me down to 21 Right? And so this first one, do-it-yourself institutions of popular music heritage, the preservation of mater music materials, past and community archives in museums and hall of fame. So this, this sounds interesting. It's in a place called archives and records. Uh, we know it meets the page count. We know it's been published in 2016. So this could be possibly something to look at. Uh, not singing in tune, the or 29 November choir and the invention of the trans local do-it-yourself popular, popular musical heritage in Austria so it's in Austria so it doesn't really necessarily have our is it really geared towards us productive consumption in the class mediated construction of domestic masculinity do-it-yourself home improvement in men's identity work uh, and so this is in the journal of consumer research which is always an interesting place to think about popular culture because so much of popular culture is related to uh, consumerism it's obviously the page length it's 2013 I think this would be a really interesting article so if it is and I can keep looking and there may be a couple others but this is the first one this is another one really interesting one do-it-yourself democracy the rise of public engagement industry but if I want to take a look at this I'm gonna click on it and once I'm in there you know it gives me the title it gives me information and then it gives me this the abstract and the abstract can give me a sense of what it is uh, you know goes on to explain some of the reasons some of the things that it looks at and then if I'm ready to you know give it a deeper dive I can come over to read uh, the PDF full text 
And once that's loaded, I can now take a look and kind of skim through and, and start to read, make sure I can understand it. Um, at this point, I should think about do, if I'm gonna, if I'm thinking of this or considering this, I should look to download it. I might also add it to my Google Drive. And then I want to find the, this button right here, which is the site button. Now this saves you a lot of time and trouble because I'm gonna click on this. And now it's going to give me several different setups of how to cite it. Uh, I would recommend using APA or uh, MLA. This will give me uh, all the information I need to know, and it's it's a good way of kind of staying consistent. Um, so that's it. I, you know, you can do other types of keyword search. You can do other types of, you know, uh, using or playing around with those advanced search methods, those will really kind of help you with the results. Uh, and you can start broad and then kind of focus inward. Uh, so give it a try. You know, if one term doesn't work, try other types of popular culture, but you really should be able to find uh, almost anything related to uh, one or more of your interests in pop culture. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, let me know if you have questions.